Good morning, Chris Sonnen here for Son in Law, talking about the differences between premarital and postmarital agreements. When you're thinking about getting married in the state of California, you should know that under the law, without an agreement, when you get married, all property becomes community property. While there are some exceptions, such as inheritances and items you bring into the marriage that you do not mingle with the other party, in general, everything that occurs during the marital community is considered to be divisible 50-50 on divorce. Now, many people wish to protect themselves and want to enter into what's known as a premarital agreement. These are also known as separate property agreements. These agreements can set forth the rights and obligations of the parties during the marriage. It can set aside certain property as separate property, certain earnings as separate property, and certain other things as separate property. This is a great way to protect yourself prior to marriage because unless there are strange or unconscionable provisions in these agreements, courts as a general rule uphold these agreements on divorce. The difference is that sometimes when people are married, they may not realize that they want to separate their property, which is when a postnuptial agreement comes into play. Unlike premarital agreements, postnuptial agreements are viewed with a great deal of skepticism by the court. The reason being is that prior to marriage, it is more viewed as an arm's length transaction, whereas during marriage, the court may feel that one party has undue influence over the other party thus calling the whole agreement into question. If you're considering getting married, the proper thing to do is address all these questions prior to marriage and be open with your other partner. If, however, you are in a marriage and you feel the need to enter into a postnuptial agreement, you also would want to cons consult with an experienced attorney. Here at Son-in-Law, we do both types of agreements and can provide you the legal advice necessary to have your agreements most likely to be found binding by a court. Don't hesitate to call us today and make an appointment.